Hello, and welcome to Pokemon Fire Red. Nice luck. Today I'm joined with Not Josh. Hi, Not Josh. Hi, I'm Brooke, sometimes known as Sphinx. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna do some grinding because I don't really have a good schedule this week, so get this through. And, fun fact this is actually my first time ever seeing the first gen game in play. Wait, what? You've never seen. No. First gen? I've only played 6th gen onwards. It's oh, like Pokemon God. Y, and then uh, the remake of Oras, and then Sun and Moon were the only Pokemon games that I've been exposed to. Oh my god. When did they go wrong? Like, the, the only, science gone too far. The only way that I'm familiar with the Gen 1 Pokemon is sadly because of Pokemon Go. You can shame me as much as you want. I actually reinstalled that uh, this morning. Oops. Yeah, we went out walking a while ago, and actually got some good catches. Did they fix the gyms at all? No, Mystic still owns everything. No, and I don't care who's in them, but are they actually no. doable? Everything is still overpowered. Everything is still twenty six hundred plus. No, well, my my problem is it went from one person can take a gym to you have to have a group because you don't do enough damage to the gym. Mm hmm. This is also, Why does double stop, slap hit more than twice? This is also back in the good old times when we didn't have fairy types and things like Clefairy were easily beatable. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna split too much XP is the problem. We'll die to the burn. So. Throw your penis out there. Yay! Sweet, we got a level. One more, and then we'll be useful. Yeah, because Gen 1 runs the... Essentially, we can get a Psychic type. This game stops being a problem. Seems like it's all... It doesn't take as many levels in Gen 1 to evolve fully. It takes all the same. Oh. Yeah, they oh. literally didn't change. When does, when does Kakuna evolve into Beedrill again? Ten. Like Ten? all the bugs. Oh. Moon's the only one that changed that, really, was yeah. long-term bugs. Uh, They're useless. Bug types in this one, though, were not as... What's the word I should use? Kind of useless as they were in later gens, right? Uh, they're not... I mean, they've never really been useless. It's just that they max out early. Like, Beedrill in this doesn't really learn any good moves. But mm -hmm. Bug is pretty much one of the only weaknesses to psych, uh, against Psychic mm -hmm. for most of, I think, this gen, because Dark's not a thing yet. Yeah, the thing is, I don't, I don't get why Beedrill had a Mega Evolution, just because I, I feel like I it was only made that. for aesthetic purposes. I feel like that was the only reason it was made. Pretty much every Mega Evolution. Oh, yeah. I'm disappointed there aren't more of them, and that they even exist. Like, there could have been one for Dragonite, but the problem was you a can't Dragon really Eye make... Night? Yeah, Dragonite <laughs> just sounds weird. See, that's why there should have just been a type stone. Mm -hmm. Why does this guy have a wheel? definitely make it easier to find. Why do you have a wheel? It's like fighting oh. your younger self. Except it's a level 11. Uh, the best part about early gens, and just Pokemon games in general, is the AI is just stupid. As in... Double the... battles really push how stupid the AIs are, based on how they target and the moves it decides. Uh, I, I noticed a little bit with the double and triple battles in Oras was... Uh... The triple battles are a thing now, aren't they? Oh yeah, well they took them out in Sun and Moon, same with rotation battles, but that was kind of cool. What's a rotation uh, battle? What? A rotation battle, it's kind of weirdly set up. How it is is you have three or four Pokemon in a party that uh, two people are handling. And it'll be your Pokemon versus one of them. The wheel spins, and it's either your Pokemon versus another one, or another Pokemon versus another one of yours versus another one. It's a weird setup. It's hard to explain, but That's it's silly. You can still attack certain Pokemon within the rotation that aren't directly in front of you, but it, your Pokemon has to have a certain attack that can hit and Multiple spread targets. damage. So like yeah. Razor Leaf, like Razor Leaf or Earthquake. Yay! Or, I think. Oh. Charbrock. Oh. Have you even watched any of this Nuzlocke yet? 
I watched a little bit of the first episode. Slacker. We're up to five now. Although I think yeah. only three are actually well, live. I make the thumbnails. That's my job. And now it's a pinhead! Yay! Char you gotta appreciate the simplicity of the names, too. Just Charmander. Charred Salamander. Char Salamander. Charmeleon. Charred yeah. Chameleon. Charizard. Charred Lizard. Why are you burning reptiles? Charizard's Japanese name isn't even Charizard. I think it's out. Lizard. Yeah. Because it's just Rizado. That's literally what it yells out, is just the word Lizard in the anime. What bugs me, and I was talking to Josh about this, is I don't know if you've ever read the Pokemon manga. I've seen bits and pieces, I've never sat down and read it. It's actually really good, it's not super child friendly. Because mangas aren't child friendly. I've seen some parts that have adult content, like yeah. instances where Pokemon don't just faint in battle. Yeah, things die. Yeah. The world is brutal. But, um, what bugs me is we were talking to him, I was talking to Josh, because in Yellow, which we have a copy of, really want to go play that, um, you get the Pikachu. That's how it goes, and you get all three starters eventually. But in the manga, Red doesn't start with a Pikachu. The only one that ever started with Pikachu was Ash. Red has a Poliwag. Hmm. I would have loved a Poliwag for a starter. That's different. Then again, the Pokemon anime I have a problem with is just... It, it really diverts the games to the point where it's a completely separate universe. Oh, yeah. I mean, each of the games are a separate canon from each other for the most part. Yeah, like, I, I despise the, the Sun and Moon arc of Pokemon in the anime right now just because... You don't like the animation, do you? I don't like the style. See, I, I don't, don't like what they're a... doing with the story. They turned Team Skull into a biker gang. I mean, that's kind of what they were. Yeah. Because that was kind of the aesthetic. There was Paris in here. Look at it. Uh, Just a cute little, little crab. Little zombie parasites. Little zombie crab. Look at its big shiny eyes. Little die. Dies with the rest of them. You Haven't you caught a Paris? No. Oh, right. You can't because it's yeah. locked. Yeah, we got Zubat in here. That's that's where we got. That's that's how Nuzlocks work. First thing you see, the only option you get the one time. That's mm -hmm. so why if you get an Abra, you pretty much write that route off, or hope really hard. Which in in this my... Abras were harder. You kind of had. Well, to they just teleport work. instantly to begin with. Yeah. But in my leaf green that I had on my phone I got him I was lucky enough to grab an uh, uh, Abra and Abra yeah. I know I'm having a difficult time trying to track one down in Pokemon Y that I'm playing right now just just GTS it huh? I haven't mastered global it's, trade it's not as easy as an Oras an Oras it just hands you the Pokemon just like Hey, here's this over here. It's, here's it's literally it just as easy. The only problem is not a lot of people are playing Y. Yeah. Because Pokemon games follow the trend. Meanwhile, I've yet to actually beat Moon. Um, I just can't do it. I don't like the fact that they made the whole... The chain battles? No, no, I have no problem with that. I haven't even gotten far enough to find those. Or the uh, complete the take out of the gyms? I don't have to rely on a set six, and that bugs me, because we've had mm -hmm. 20 years of that's how Pokemon works. Yep. I don't like having to constantly switch out my team. It's not how you play Pokemon. I refuse to accept it. No, I just like the fact- I dislike the fact that they took out gyms altogether, because I was hoping that this gym was finally gonna have a Dark-type gym leader. See, I- I'm fine with it, but the trials are super lackluster. They like, are. If you got rid of gems for that, and I'm really hoping it's just a theme for that game, because that game yeah. was heavily themed. Uh, we we might expect it to change in Pokemon Stars, but we have we've heard nothing about it. It's probably not even going to be talked about till 2019. Is that what they're talking about naming a third one? It's the in production name. Oh god. See, I wish they'd stop making thirds. Mm. Because it's just a money market. It really is. Although, Emerald was oh. the first one I'd ever yeah. actually bought. Well, that's the one that you got Rayquaza in. Yeah. Yeah, no, I got... I had Red and, and... I had two copies of Red. And then I had a copy of Sapphire from a friend. 
And then I got yellow and crystal. And crystal is my favorite because that was the Gen 2 merger game. Crystal was fan made, wasn't it? No. No. It Crystal's, was an actual yeah. canon game? Oh, man. Yeah, it's the third for that. And it's the one with Suicune on the cover, right? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's Crystal. They never. They should have remade. See, while they're remaking these games, I wish they would just remake the third ones. Like, why did we get an Omega Ruby off of Sapphire? We could have just gotten an Emerald. Yeah. That's what we should have gotten. Because it was literally, no, let's market it better. Because they don't care. They've got to make money. Because yeah, they've only got like two IPs. I feel like the designers just really wanted to push how proud of the separate stories and designs they did for Team Magma and Team Aqua. Except they're both, both of those stories are in Emerald. Overlapping mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. So they're way better in Emerald. Yeah, it even was it even was that too inside Oras was the like the two team leaders met up all the time. Yep. And it was just them sassing each other constantly, but still, their stories did coincide. Yeah. Right. But of course Alpha Sapphire, the one I have, I you never movie. encounter Grout on. Yeah, it's not Whereas in Emerald you deal with all three. Mm -hmm. That was the thing of it. It was yeah. the weather trio. Which is weird, because you had cast form was introduced in third gym. I don't like cast form. It can be competitive, that's the catch. Yeah. Is you teach it weather ball, oh, and then oh. give it all the moves that it needs, and then you're fine. But if you don't teach it weather ball, you're an idiot, because that's literally the movement for that. It's Yay. tank and top of Gurren Lagann. It's still a disappointment. Woo! It's a bee with drills for hands. It's not a Pikachu. Edward drill hands. Okay. You know what I have to go up against, Misty? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. All of those are weak to water, I believe. What? Well, most of them. No, the problem is, like, water. I can't use Charbra or Amy Schumer. Mainly. I still because... find it hilarious that you decided to name your manky Amy Schumer. Well, we were going to go Rosie O'Donnell, but apparently that's outdated now. Mm. So, Amy Schumer and Certain viewers are too young to get the reference, which is sad to think about nowadays. Not my viewers. I don't think I have young viewers. No, I imagine it's just... I've, I've got, like, I'm averaging, like, ten views right now. Like, to start, and then a couple days, oh, yeah. like, that's a week a, later, a it's like 30. No, not really. I need more. No one's sharing. That's the problem. Mm. They have to be reminded to like and share and all that stupid stuff. Please like and share and don't forget to subscribe. Eh. Do you use the typical that no. typical line? No, I do not do that. I, I refuse to do that. If they like it enough, they'll do it anyway. True. I mean, most YouTubers, everybody stops at the last 10, 15 seconds before the outro and then just moves on to the next video. Yep. See, I watch full videos. I refuse to skip parts. Yay, potion. I, I, I'm sh I shamefully admit that I do skip parts when it starts to drag on in the YouTuber's what? video. Ah, see, so you're one of those people that watch highlight reels then, aren't you? I actually don't like highlight reels. What, what are you watching? Uh, it's, it's usual gameplays, but I, like, say, for example, in a certain popular YouTube gamer's play through they're stuck on this one part that goes on for like five minutes obviously in 15 minute video i'm gonna skip over that five minutes and get back to where it gets interesting again now nah. i watch all things i don't like like watching highlight reels so i don't <laughs> but that's why i tend to honestly just tab out pick his banter which is why i need people for nuzlocks because i cannot banter myself i mean i could but I don't have the energy for that. Yeah, and there would come a point where it'd be obviously forced. Yeah. Like singing to yourself, making sound effects. No, that's... Well, you can't sing. So there's that. Well, I mean, just tunes. The problem is... Like, I recorded three Nuzlocks before I got it right by myself. Or... And that just didn't work because I, I couldn't get the setup right. We're gonna take but, this nerd's lunch money. Jovan. Or Hoven. I don't care if I just put the Pidgey up front. So. Yep. Schumer. Somebody wants. No. Stop that. Stop that song in particular. 
It's just because you dislike the meme associated with it. No, I hate that song. Oh. It wasn't a good song back then. It's not a good song now. Oh, yeah. It was part of the Shrek soundtrack. Well, are you even old enough to remember Shrek? Yes. I was born when it came out. Oh, my God. Well, I was like four when it came out. Oh, God. Why, why do you make me feel old? How old are you again? Why do you make me feel old? <laughs> Send down a vault orb now, we'll be fine. Oh yeah. What do you know? Sent out a vault orb. Of course Amy Schumer is confused, that's her entire career. Yeah, pretty much. Yay. Uh... So. Gotta hit first. Crit. Oh, no, please we just don't hit yourself. Hit. That's, that's all that matters. Oh, okay. we're fine. There we go. That's yeah. that's my number one gripe is when a po when like whenever anyone it, whenever any Pokemon in my party gets confused, they always hit themselves until I cure them of confusion. <laughs> See in third gen you got flukes that you could uh, have a guy make by collecting ash. Yep, no, I and got And those that. were reusable all the time. Yeah, and Alpha Sapphire, I, I got a black flute to attract uh, stronger Pokemon when I'm in fielded areas. I want to collect enough ash to get a flute that I can just play it in battle and it's, be like, Hey, snap out of it! It's super easy to collect that, too. You're just running right there. Mm -hmm. Just throw on some repels and go. Hey, Caterpie! Yeah. Pokemon Y confirmed. Oh! Yep, there we go. No, I'm already not looking forward to doing Gen 2. The problem is right now there's only like Dark Souls and Pokemon out on my channel. Oh. And it's kind of a weird market for that. Because most people aren't watching random Nuzlocks. I know a few people that are into- I know a good amount of people that are into both of that, and a lot of people that are exclusive to either of those. Yep. I mean, it works. Like, Tell your friends. I mean, if you get a Dark Souls fan to do a Nuzlocke in Pokemon, they'll probably be into it, because it's- I don't know, it's a challenge. Eh. It's mostly grinding. Yep. It's like mostly Dark grinding. Souls, you're good. See, so, yeah. Keith is trying to call me out that I'm purposely bad in Dark Souls. Aww. And I'm not. My timing's just always been terrible. I feel like you might do better at Bloodborne because it's just straight up offensive. Well, I, we were ta I was playing the other day, and those guys that parry with the rapiers mm -hmm. were... Josh was all like, you gotta be careful, and I just repeatedly hit him until he died. And I'm like, okay. Moving on. Yeah, again, you'd probably be better at uh, Bloodborne oh, yeah. just because they're, you don't have to block. Pidgey's not evolved at 16. I guess not. They'll evolve soon. Uh, You've got to keep going with I'm just Pidgey. really happy we got a we got a Pidgey. Although now I'm probably over leveling these, but the Zubat doesn't evolve until 22. It'll be worth it. Because if you get them, like, right below that cap where they won't listen to you, you'll do pretty good in gems. That's over-leveling. That's definitely over-leveling. Yeah. Because isn't it as it goes, oh, like... Whoops, uh, wrong button. The first gem you can control level 5 and under. Second gem, 10 and under. I don't know the way the scaling system goes. What? No, no, uh, no. I can, be up to, I can go to 25 after beating Brock. Okay. Yeah. The problem that I always have with these games is when you get to about the halfway point. The nice thing about Gen One that you've have you've never experienced apparently is the last four gems. The order is completely optional mm. because you can get to Blaine at any point once you have Surf and Koga and Sabrina and I also think Erica. Surf? You mean Surge? Surf. The surf. T the H M Surf. Once you get that, you can go to Blaine, oh. who's usually the eighth one because of how the map. Which I actually have to go back to Pallet Town. I don't have the map. I, the, for, I forgot to grab the map. From I Gary's believe sister. it would be quite useful. Yeah. Oh well, never mind. 
but the map is kind of set up for you to go in a circle, except when you get to about the halfway point, it branches off. Mm -hmm. And it's really... Like, I don't know anyone who's ever done it out of order, but the problem is... So once you get to that halfway point, all of those gems are about the same level. They're all about 45. And then, maybe, like, their maxes are, like, 50. Like, they're one Pokemon. Yeah, like, I feel like it's right after, say, the 6th or 7th gen that they're all just the same. Sometimes Not even this. Literally, in this one's, like, the 4th. Yeah. Wow. Erica's, like, low 30s, and then after her, they're all mid-40s. So the problem I always had is I'd overlevel until, until I get still. to about the halfway point. Mm -hmm. And then I'd suddenly be underleveled because there's not a whole lot of grinding in those level areas. Mm-hmm. Miriam. Can't believe you've never played first gen. Nope. My only actual uh exposing to Something Gen 1 far was Pokemon Go. World. I, I obviously knew of Gen 1 Pokemon, but I never delved into it until Pokemon Go came out last year in August. June. June. Oh, wow. Actually, no, not June, July. It was July 2nd when it hit us. Yeah, July. My account's the day one. It's a good thing you didn't buy that watch, huh? Or that wristband. God, those things. I, I still want one. Not gonna lie. Although, but it doesn't is. have a function anymore. It'll still catch? That's all it ever did. Oh. Is it only ever lit, uh, lit up... Whoops, that was wrong. Thing. It only ever lit up if there was a Pokemon nearby, and it lit up a different color if it was one you caught, or you already had. The problem is you could only hit that button and it would try to catch something it if it was something succeed. you had caught before. Mm -hmm. So otherwise it would light up and you have to open up your phone anyway, which was draining battery more because it was on Bluetooth, data, mm -hmm. and GPS, which is... A giant battery drain. But it looks like we actually managed to get some decent decent grinding done. There we go. I think 17's right for a Pichetto. Really? Really? 18 what? for a Pidgeotto? Yep. God, that's annoying. I don't know if I want to grind that much more, but I kind of have to. Oh, I keep hitting that button. Always hit that button. You know, the way its hair is going to be once it evolves, you should have named it Miley Cyrus. No. She looks normal again, actually. Yeah. Meanwhile, Katy Perry's going insane. I noticed. It seems like that's <laughs> going to be the trend with like mainstream artists now, is they're going to go that route. I don't have that problem. Metal. Yep. But like pop artists nowadays, it seems like they're all following the trend of chopping off their hair, bleaching a lot out of it, and then trying to go on like this trendy pop hip hop vibe. Of course, that's what sells. Mm, true. Did we cycle Shock back? Value. Is this a new one? Oh, yes, it is. Right. Shock value swell uh sells quite yep. a. It swells. Alice Cooper taught me anything as a child. There was one time back in high school we had an ADC and I went to school as Alice Cooper. I teased my <laughs> hair, went in a leather jacket, had the fingerless gloves, I did oh, the corpse God. paint. Really want to watch some Wayne's World now. Have you seen Wayne's World? Yes. I don't know. It's hard to tell with these kids. <laughs> I saw the first movie. I did not like the second movie. The second one wasn't bad. Yeah, but it was unnecessary. Then again, that was during the area that was during the era where everything got a sequel. Sorry, what? That's now. What there that? are movies in development that have sequels for their sequels that aren't even out yet. Yeah. That's why I hate movies right now because literally, regardless of if it flops, it's got a sequel. And it won't flop because they're all marketed so aggressively that you can't not go see it. Hmm. I mean, Transformers has a cinematic universe now that includes G.I. Joe in it. 
<laughs> I'm I'm genuinely disappointed, let down, not really heartbroken because I I wasn't Sorry. in love with it in the first place. Hmm. The Transformers. Yeah. I honestly, I'm just angry what they did to Jetfire. Jetfire was my favorite Transformer. Mm-hmm. And they made him a crotchety old man. So I guess they made him me. Ha. I guess. I love how, like, in the newest movie, they went from the regular, obviously robotic, kind of basic shapes to, like, make trying to make them hyper-realistic, almost very human-looking. I'm okay with the hyper-realism. I, honestly... They gave one a beard made out of uh, shredded copper. I liked that. <laughs> I like the idea that robots grow beards. Marcos, and we'll find his brother Polos. <sighs> Hate puns. Also, we need to switch. This episode's gonna run a little long just because I really want Felicia to evolve on camera. But it should get there. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I was toying with the idea of grinding on Twitch. Mm -hmm. That's a sentence. And I'm just trying to figure out how to set up Twitch now. <laughs> because then I could do this for like an hour. Have all of it backlogged on Twitch because it saves everything. And then just split in parts? No, not even split that. Because honestly, if they want to watch a grinding episode, they can just go to Twitch. Good point. By the way, I'm curious about Rotata's name. Why'd you um, name it Gedgwick? Because if you can't think of a name, just... I typed in Gedge and I told him to finish it off. He came up with Wick, so that's what it was. It's like the counterpart to Hedwig. Oh god. Oh, that's weird. Um, kind of. Think about it, uh, snowy owls like Hedwig eat rats. I'm okay with this. See, I knew there was a reason. Do you not like your little Rattata? Uh, honestly, they're... They can be powerhouses if you try, but they're so squishy. I still remember. And they take forever to grind. Like, can you imagine not letting a Rotata evolve, getting it to like level 50? No. You. Why? Does, does it learn Hyper Fang if it doesn't evolve? I don't know. I almost don't think so. Yay, now we get to find another Onyx. Woo. It's weaker than Brock's. Oh, it has such a weird pose in the original. Yeah, they should have coiled it, I think. Yeah, that would have been more aesthetically pleasing. This kind of looks like it's just like, hey! Like, it should have a lamp attached to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, low kick on Onyx. <laughs> and down to the There we go. Out. That's what we were waiting for. And here it comes. After this text, wow, shocked. No, apparently you're rubbish. Woo, Felicia. You know why we named it Felicia? Because we can say bye, Felicia, when it dies. Oh. Hopefully it doesn't die, because I, I want me a Pidgeot. Aren't Pidgeots like... 36 or so, I think. Yeah. Are they useful in Gen 1? Yeah. I just love the giant mane that eventually made Pyroars. Mm -hmm. Alright, on that note, let's, uh, let's go out there. Bye! Just double check that that's out.